Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're looking at simplifying expressions involving exponents and we're going to use the three exponent laws to simplify this. So what we have to remember when we're using the exponent laws is that we can only combine variables together if the bases are the same. So when I look at this, I'm looking at all the parts of this expression and I have the 3, which is a coefficient, and an 8, and then this 6 um, inside of the, the, set of the set of brackets here. So all of the numbers can be combined as usual, and then the uh, variables, I see that I have the f's here, which are going to be combined, and then we have, let me use this, the g's that can combine, and then as I said at the beginning, our numbers here and here and here can be combined. So we have to make sure that we take care in ensuring our bases are the same before we can use the exponent laws. So the first thing I want to do is always work from the outside in. I have this set of brackets here raised to an exponent of 2. I need to uh, bring that exponent into the brackets, we're going to use the power of a power rule here, which says if we have a power raised to another power, we multiply the exponents. So there is an exponent of 1 on the 6, so this 2 has to multiply with the 1, the 2 has to multiply with the 2, and the 2 has to multiply with the 3. So when we simplify, the first line I want to do that part, so I'm going to leave the numerator alone uh, like this. Over and in the denominator we have 6 squared, f 2 times 2 is 4, and then g 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, so now we're going to use the other exponent laws to simplify the rest because we have multiplication here and then we have a division. I'm going to work just with the top part of the fraction, so we want to work in numerator and denominator separately first. So here I'll do the coefficients. 3 times 8 is 24. And then I have an f to the power of 4 times f to the power of 1. So I'll add those exponents, f to the power of 5. Then we'll do the g's. g to the power of 3 times g to the power of 4. We add the exponents and get g to the power of 7. Okay. And in the denominator, I'm just going to evaluate the 6 squared, that's 6 times 6, which is 36, and we have f to the 4, g to the 6. Okay, so now we've simplified everything in the numerator that we can, we've simplified everything in the denominator that we can, we want to simplify now the rest of this, so there's a division here. Um, I'm going to leave the coefficients, those numbers, for now until the end. And like this. Now, f to the 5 divided by f to the 4, we subtract the exponents. 5 minus 4 is 1, so we get f to the 1 in the numerator. And then g to the 7 divided by g to the 6, 7 minus 6 is 1 again. So we get g to the power of 1 also in the numerator. Nothing's left in the denominator now except for that 36. So we have this fraction 24 over 36. When we have that, we always want to reduce fractions. Reduced fractions are better than decimals, so I would encourage you to reduce the fraction instead of dividing this out. We can divide both these numbers by 12, and that gives us 2 over 3 f g. We don't need to write the 1 in the exponent. It's a bit redundant. We know if there's nothing there that it is, in fact, an exponent of 1. So the, there we have our exponent laws for simplifying expressions. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.